Hello, good people of the internet, and welcome back to arguing with my cat. Meow. <laughs> we just had to. We just kicked the cat out. Meow. Okay. <laughs> if we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die. You know that. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? Oh my god. Well, one time... So you see Evil rubbing her head against my Yeah, didn't, didn't he? Didn't, didn't he? Didn't she? She... One time she pressed the button and turned off my monitor. <laughs> by rubbing her face on it. You're silly. You're silly. You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lockpicking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. Maybe he didn't have the tools. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. Yeah. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also... I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locked the door to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Oh, mm-hmm, I see. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Good what kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Are you are you watching Yu-Gi-Oh on your phone while we record? <laughs> it's a class trial. Okay, <laughs> and that's an excuse. Jeez. You look at your phone during the class trial. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's looking on it right now. Oh, if only we had face uh, cam. Yeah. <laughs> there were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, no, what is no this? No traps or anything. Right. No pressure. If only I could click to figure out what the strange circumstance is. Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I already roof. figured it out because I'm a smart boy. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I looked up at that one. It's true. First we need to First we need to determine if Mia was actually there or not. Did she go? Or was she never on the roof at all? Mew is waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mio should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! I think it's that, uh... There's no way. Yeah. Mew was what waiting for me to arrive. Account? Yeah. But, like... I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop the of the mansion. No. There. 
I'm gonna get through the trial with all of these. I swear I will. Yeah, when I was searching the dining room, I saw you pass by the window. Then why didn't you say so sooner? Sorry, I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely new. Then... How did she get to the mansion from the chapel? There must have been some special method only Mew knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to my Okay. So, what secret method did she on. use? Gotcha. It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. What? <laughs> what do you say? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. This class trial's for okay, all of us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> You would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! <laughs> I don't have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now I need to focus on the tapes. I'm positive I knew you used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay, I just have to figure out what it was. Is this the first Hangman Gambit? No! No. We haven't hit one Hangman Gambit. <laughs> Jeez, so weird. A uh, wall added by Mew. The way across it only Mew knew about. Like a hidden bridge, besides that signboard, maybe. Or, instead of bridge, Mew used some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Uh... Or she used a warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Mew could manage to get across. Where's the V? Where's the V point? Oh. No, no. I suppose it is possible she used no, that to change places. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> That's it, Pluto. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. <laughs> Why? I was doing so good with the bees. Why? Why did you have to spin? Oh! <laughs> I'm angry at that! Oh. I am so <laughs> angry at that! Oh, you're good. There's probably an achievement where you have to hit every single V. I, there probably is, and I've been trying to get it this whole time. I thought I was gonna get this time. Can we start the class trial over? No! Can we please? No! Please! No! Why? No! Do it on your own time! Fuck! Make a save and save oh, file! Son of a bitch! Play the game over with Dylan! Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion, or the wall of <laughs> the chapel. It's both of them. I like to think that the map is actually. That wall was set so like that only this. objects yeah, could yeah, pass. Don't be naive, Shuichi. Okay. Hi, Kaito. Mm -hmm. What is it, Kaito? Jeez, can you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious. But it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. I think we have to do nothing with to her do with it. Mm. <laughs> you don't even realize your mistake. You losing your edge? Guys, you, you're right fucking oh, next to us. Right. Mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Look, you can even see his arm right there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> On the other side of the screen. I know. <laughs> okay, her avatar. Because it's a non-object. Yeah, you need that. Yeah. What we gotta figure out. 
<laughs> is how Mew got from the chapel to the mansion. So why waste time talking about the imp It's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up. No. Only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just a... Uh, 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 is she objectifying herself? I'll yeah. cut through your <laughs> words. Is there even any point to going through the front of these things anymore? After I already missed the one. Wall wasn't uh, the only thing that you changed. To have it all flashy? I guess. She also changed her avatar settings from human <laughs> Just to go object. Just to the first class trial again. From human you know to the object? Answers. I know. Which means yeah, the annoying. virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Ah! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi. Please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So, oh, fuck you. if Mew messed with the program and made a wall fuck only you, she could go through, then her <laughs> His eyes pop out of his head. Fuck you, you're just a robot! That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... Yeah, she was trying to kill someone! We got it. Right. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally wow. lying about there being nothing past the wall. She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi, you know I have to go that far. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! M Monotaro? Listen to you, talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. But mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden root in that virtual world. Huh? Oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh! If you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shoot! <laughs> ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Was Gokichi saying all that stuff about Mew to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does these things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden root, why did she manipulate the program? <laughs> if there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. Oh, could you imagine Danny and Aaron just having fun with Mew? She oh yeah. Plan. <laughs> yes, Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world, Mystery of virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Yes, okay. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? A uh, lot of noise. This is it! Hey, I didn't even have to tell you. 
Yeah, you usually don't have to, you but you do anyway. Sound. I'm like, yeah, we're already in the kitchen. That. Thanks for telling me, but now it looks to the audience. Oh, oh okay, 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 I'll keep my mouth shut. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> You all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? Because First off, the sound can't go past the map loading point. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. You heard my voice, too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay, well, let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! Ah, jeez. Sorry, going to not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like me in the mansion or the loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened in there. Mine, mine. I think I think it's a sign, the the signboard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So this kind of just starts clicking. Doing... I'm clicking, and it's not clicking. I'm clicking. Ah. Uh, Are you clicking the right one? Yes. Okay, now. There's a there's an answer. Yeah, I just need to uh, review it. I see it. The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. I was confused by how the sign got there. Finding the sign was amazing. I should remember exactly what happened with that sign. It went... Alright, here we go. Green looping. Oh, you think I'm moving now. Vroom, vroom, alright. Oh shit, I thought I was gonna go all the way to the other side, but it didn't matter. Okay, that car was there, so it's not gonna be that bad. Where is the end of the river? At the capital.
Yes, I'm really pleased. <laughs> It does. To the right. Or chapel side, whatever. With the current. Yeah, that makes sense. What? Oh, yeah. Oh! Okay, I see what I'm saying. Did we, did we actually find someone up there? Yeah. Jeez. It was like blood. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Well, it technically went with the current, though, but we don't know that yet, so... Yeah. I was technically correct, the whatever. Just because I figured current. it out before, you guys. <laughs> we all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. We also determined that the wall can have the objects go through it, so I don't know why Hold on, right. didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river, then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? What? Mm -hmm. yeah. We would be in a lot of uh, trouble you if you didn't. Yeah. Okay. And we're back. The yeah. only I'm a one good who boy. can solve yep. this mystery and save us all is you. I already figured it out. So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Green wrapping! Ah, well, what we know so far is that the unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Who am I supposed to use a map? Maybe? Share the question. What clue is related to the unnatural way of the signboard? I think it's map. No. I was wrong! <laughs> That's a new voice clip. Oh god, okay. Uh. 
wall you all the kind of accents? The wall me you added? I think... This is it! Okay. Oh my god! It might have to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. I guess that makes sense as the answer. Yeah. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion? Green wrapping! Sorry. Well, how do you explain that? Green Leave rapping. it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. What? <laughs> this is the virtual I don't I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it because, like, okay. I don't need to say it. Yeah. <laughs> huh? The hell does that even mean? I guess you might be onto something there. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting comments at the side and focusing on the floor of the river. How did this downstream and upstream connect? That's it! What if both ends of the river were connected? Huh? Both ends of river connected? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. They're the same wall. Right. In that case... I got it! I know why Mew only set up one wall. Me? What are you talking about now? The reason she only set up one wall is because the man chapel of mansion walls are already They're the same. Wall. That's it. The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall. It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. Yeah, I See, that. didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi! Just tell us! Shh, it's okay. <laughs> More importantly, this is the final stretch! If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? The secret, huh? Yeah, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. Fucking finally! The first one, okay. But this one isn't the one with the. What's the. Uh, what's the question? Uh, what's the unique feature of the virtual world? It loops, right? Or... Try world. Or... 
What? Uh, oh, I think that's an. Is that an M? I yeah, that's an M. M. That's, that's a W! Fucking... There we go. Now I'm just yes, confusing. that's it. Yeah. The virtual world is a loop. Loop. Just like in old games, right? Like, for example... When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. The virtual world loops? What in the world? If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream, Floated with the currents until it got caught on the rocks. Is it gonna show the map how it actually is though? Like, because technically, that right there is the edge of the map. Yeah, give it a minute. Okay. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Okay, it is in Actually, there wasn't a wall on the Y axis at all, and the X axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kivo's voice. Yeah, sound doesn't go past the nap loading point. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Yes, but first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Map loading point? Where the, the loop, loop starts. Point. Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? No. Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... Yeah, I'm gonna point it. There! The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. There we go. But the loading point was actually at the edges. So the wall Mew created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather, her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right! That's how the virtual world works! <laughs> he makes it sound like we're dumb or something. <laughs> Impressive, That's how Luigi. the virtual world works, class! For you to get yeah. this far! Yes! You are useful indeed. Yes! <laughs> For you to get this far, what are you, some villain pulling the strings? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center, which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. 
By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. Clickety click click click, please. Clickety click click click, please. Oh. I feel good for putting you out. We solved this mystery yeah. thanks to Shuichi. Oh, oh hail our did. savior! Yeah. yeah. If Shuichi yeah, we still haven't got any closer to like the actual mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. Uh, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works, after all! Yeah, and I was just saying that. Kokichi talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies. I'm gonna believe in everyone. That's how I'm gonna reach the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. I just realized, do you think the game's too loud and it's picking up in the microphone to make an echo? Oh well, I can't worry about that right now. What's Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. So at uh, the second one, we have to... Yeah. Look, what we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mew. That's how many little mysteries we solve. If we can't find the culprit, it'll all be for nothing. But I'm still... I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mew's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Mew? And it's intermission. Cycle. And Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Yeah. Lack of hibernation? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. Mm -hmm. That's awful. What could be causing it? Ah. Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Huh? Hmm. Is it because the graveyard trick pays better at hourly wage? Huh? Hmm. Really? Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Huh? Hmm. Is it because you want to stay friends? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Is it because you want to watch it real time? Hmm? Father? Hmm. He's out of the hibernation. You should let him be. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Night night. Let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. 
and then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Then secretly passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Oh yeah, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit kill her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. And then what? She was thrown off of the roof and that's what the loud noise was? Did the oh yeah, this, the door they probably used the pallet as a sled, right? Hey, you're getting it. Yeah. Perhaps. I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. No say such mean things! Killing game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends, if things different. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. That wouldn't happen. Nuh-uh. No way, Jose. Wow. Huh? Jesus. Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved I already avatar. figured it out! I already figured it out! I'm a smart boy, I'm a smart boy. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is, the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Go to not throw her! We know. You couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength equalized? That problem! Going to know can protect everyone if that happens. Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, to the other side that means they actually take intermissions. Do you think like that if they probably just stand around sitting and like contemplating? <laughs> well, like what if they like you know, what if Monokuma and Monoka just like come out with like snacks? <laughs> Orange slices? Yeah. Water. <laughs> Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. Might be the clue we need to solve this case. But what was it? it? Sounds like something slamming hard into something else. 
What were those two things? Could be some uh, lattice and wall. Uh, Mew what? hitting the wall. Uh. Fuck, fine, whatever. I'm technically correct, though. I'm technically correct. That's it. You can't say I'm not. Uh, I just, I'm too smart for this game. I'm too smart. I'm too smart. I'm too smart. The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. If that's the case, Miu's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Miu's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? I already did. Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. What's that? Uh... <laughs> Good, I'm looking at my Pay phone. Pay attention. Hey, I, I already know what happens, okay? Pay attention. <laughs> Getting his avatar to crash into the chapel from the maintenance roof. Someone I could think of how to do that. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. I don't need any hints. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep Babe. slope. And the slope <laughs> faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there Did was snow it? on the roof. Did I catch what? Never mind. Uh, what's something he said? Don't look at it. <laughs> brick handrail. I don't know. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. So he just talked as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve this case. How do we make how to make Mew hit the chap wall from the roof of the mansion? We're going to find the answer. Yeah! Okay, now we gotta wait 20 seconds. Okay. Uh what would this be anyway? Slid off roof. Slid okay. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah. the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. A slide? Ah, man, even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it wouldn't slide, just like Maki Roll said. It would slide. Just like Shumai said! Who's Shumai? Us? Who the hell is Shumai? Oh! He's a pupil of Roman Man! Uh, sorry, <laughs> my hobby slipped in. That must be an enemy I don't know about. <laughs> hmm. I'm looking at my phone, okay? Stop <laughs> looking at your phone. <laughs> I'm positive that's how me the avatar was moved, but... Maybe the corporate used something else as well as your body is slime. 
It's the fucking palette. I, I call it palette because I work in it. I don't know. Lattice, okay. Even if her avatar slid off, it was, it's technically like would something it slide to off that quickly? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, like it would. It didn't make oh, that oof. much noise. It must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof, but not frozen solid, right? We'd still slide though. In the real world, it might be difficult, but in the virtual world, perhaps not. It's not the issue. <laughs> Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing left. That's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, no, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. It probably is a pallet, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I the lattice that was found but next to the chapel well, is the one yeah. that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Ding, ding, ding! That's correct! After the culprit killed me... <laughs> oh my gosh, the culprit. The culprit looks so cute. Uh. And slid her down the roof steep slope. The sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. <laughs> it just drops her objects. Yeah. I mean, they just put it on the pallet. So. It's like a Minecraft thing. The inputs yeah. made of wood and scattered objects, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all oh, his wow. rings whenever he crashes into stuff. I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I hate that hedgehog! Well then get into Smash so you can beat him up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want one to come in Smash yeah. so much. Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. You... Gotta be an example to our new family. Yeah, father. Or should I start calling you grandfather? No. <laughs> now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit. Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed me. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. It's still the people on the left side. Meaning, the culprit must be left. someone who was investigating the mansion. Okay, I guess now it would be right side, considering the, how the map's actually... Yeah. Well, whatever. Say mansion! Mansion. It would be someone in the mansion. Thank you! Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means... The suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. And you, piece of shit. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. We have proof that he couldn't do it. That's true. That's right. Five suspects. Me, Samugi, Gonta, Kokichi, and Kaito. So honestly, it can, it, it can only be Samugi or Gonta. And I know I say Gonta doesn't do it, it because he's a good boy, but I, I can't rule him out in this case, mm. I guess. Whatever. In this case, you can't rule anyone out, but mm. we don't have enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. I already know it's not Kaito. <laughs> but I, I, I think you'll have to choose Kokichi, considering he's been suspicious through this whole fucking trial. I mean, that's fair, but that's too obvious. But you'll probably have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, see? Okay, okay, I have to click him right now. 
You need press for information for me, Danny Judgment. So you have it to not, yeah, it's not you calling, have to choose Kokichi for now. It's not calling now. him the culprit, though. It just, it no, just, it's just selecting. Yeah. It's you! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> Those paint. Kokichi, there's something I need to know. Hmm. What do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Chuichi? I love that is that. true. Good job, yeah. my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. It was that testimony that bothered me. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Start doing my mind. Like. <laughs> No, not that one. Okay. What the fuck is it? I want to go back down. No. That one. I think it's that one. I never went to the rooftop. Alright. Just hit him. Yeah, I got that too. Fucking... I see it! <laughs> I see it after... <laughs> yeah. When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said... But later, you said. Oh. Rick Andrew, okay, got it. Hey. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh, yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. That's why you should have gone with the team to look Wh and What? Yeah. What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? I, 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 I just didn't. I already t told you that b before. Why you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? No. <laughs> but, but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. Oh, wait, I remember now. That thing Himiko said. Me? At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? She totally said that! No, she didn't! Yes, she did! Kaito! She did not! I, I don't care. She, she did, did too! Kaito, stop it! Then You're please, encouraging him! Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. Kaito, goddammit! <laughs> what a worthless this, fight! This is the part where I hate the case because Kaito gets so oh, fucking annoying. Is yeah. For the baby. yeah, grandfather, stop them before your grandkid is born. No! <laughs> I wanna apologize, cause Himiko said it! <sighs> so damn stubborn! How much longer are you going to behave like this? Can you prove it? We don't have time for this. Lying! <laughs> Guess we have to use the lie bullet! But yeah, Kokichi is stubborn, he won't pass up, no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, I do think he has something to hide. He had to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. Don't get the whole truth now. Everyone's lives are in danger. All right, I know what I gotta do. Kokichi. I didn't go to the roof. I've had enough of your lies, yeah, man. I'm not lying. I love the this voice. The door was locked, and I couldn't yeah. open it. 
so what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know. Wow. Oh, Wires burn in hell, you know. Jeez, I forget that it's the You're lying! I'll set your pants on fire! That's fine, because I'm not lying. Then why do you look so- Where are they hitting the thing? I'm not trying to. Kaito started to just right. act like a child during this game. Like, I hate, I hate Kaito in this game. And stayed in the same way. Come on, the whole time, you know. Liars burn in hell, you know. That's fine, because I'm not wrong. And why do you look so nervous? Dickie. in the salon the whole time, you know? There. I'll reveal the truth. Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. But you weren't there. What? Really? I waited there for a while, but Sumugu never able to... showed up. Shh. What's this all about, Kokichi? Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the <laughs> Kaito says Rock? he wants to believe in us, so let's take him up on the offer! I see. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? So who are you guys gonna believe? Shuichi or me? Well, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi! I believe Shuichi 100%. The one who's not Kokichi. <laughs> Jeez! 100 house points. Oh, no. Give me Kokichi ha. points to Shuichi. Nice hot work reference. But to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Um, I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. <laughs> really, bitch? I'll believe Shuichi anyway. He's usually uh, right about stuff. Sorry, but going to believe Shuichi too. Hmm. I see. I wanted at least going to, to believe me. <laughs> what comes around goes around. Right. That's what happens to liars like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? There's only one truth, but endless that possibilities. Is, that is kind of true. Okay. You know? Yeah, so it doesn't make it right. And some of them are only white lies. Or lies to be kind to people. Like Sam. If you deny all of that Sorry, just kids. because it's a lie, <laughs> then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst. Just spit it out already. You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. I won't let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. Uh... Oh? So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? So you are the culprit after no. all. I came up with a plan evidence. after Mew asked me... <laughs> <laughs> She asked me pretty eagerly, too, so I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's also why I work together with Monokuma. You work together with Monokuma? <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Kokichi came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. What about the Kirby? 
You added a motive? <laughs> then the secret you. of the outside uh, world is the motive, right? No fair! Monokuma can't take sides! The fuck he can't! I didn't help him with anything! And I had nothing to do with the murder itself! He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted! Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo wow, relationship. Because... Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. That term's been coming up a lot recently. Yep. <laughs> Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Oh, this one. Calm down. I'll explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. I'm fine with that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. <laughs> I told you. I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Are you gonna tell us who it is then, I guess? Well then, the culprit is Gonta. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're dumbfounded. Oh my god. Wait, what? What? Hey, there's the catchphrase! Huh? What did you. Wait! When did Gonta kill Mew? That's a lie! He didn't kill her! Kokichi's just lying! Nah. Nothing. Wait, now what? you're trying to pin things <laughs> on Nothing. Gonta? Wait. Why? But Gonta wanted to protect everyone. There's a specific thing that happened in the virtual world to one person. A glitch? It is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Oh, wait, and Gonda not know which way was right and left? He holds his chopsticks in his left hand. Does he? Oh. <laughs> really the thing is, it's a, like, if you look up Gonda's line. artwork, like, I'll, I'll look it up real quick. Like, uh, I'll okay. show you. Yeah, there's no way Gonda could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now. Hmm? The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. Oh. Click, please. As the killing game busters! What busters? We must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan. <laughs> I like Gonta that carried it out. Gonta what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Wait, when, wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Didn't Monokuma once say, and I guess this was in 2, so maybe it doesn't apply to V3, but didn't he once say that if there, there was an accomplice, it would be the mastermind that's considered the blackened? No, it's the one that does the killing. Hmm. Lip. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Because Gonta has remember, no idea what he's talking the about. The whole contraption with the... Uh, Celeste? Yeah. Mm. Each murder Come has... On. Each Quick case is allowed one accomplice, but the only the one that does the killing gets to leave. I guess so. Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. There's proof! There is yeah. proof! Not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gota doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. He's trying to sacrifice Gota to escape from his crime. Cat! You're a terrible person! How dare you use Gonta like that? If you have your if you have your wait, consciousness in the memory cord. Yeah. What well, well, wouldn't get uploaded? The memory? So Gonta doesn't remember. A. All he remembers is falling asleep. Oh yeah, he did say that. He doesn't understand. That's kind of bullshit then. He doesn't remember. It's just like the fucking Chiaki thing all over again. <laughs> Gosh darn it. And we need to end the episode. Oh, see you guys next time. Bye.